Well, there's pain at the pump, and with the unpredictability of global conflicts, it's tough to say where gas is going to peak. KSAN's Isabel Albritton spoke with concerned drivers to find out more. The situation we're in is one of weakness where Putin has calculated that he can invade a sovereign country uh, without the consequences. Congressman August Pfluger says the war doesn't just affect Russia and Ukraine, but also here in the United States. Uh, the, the threat, the cyber threat uh, to our banking system, uh, to all industries is very real. Russia has demonstrated a willingness and have already used cyber attacks against the Colonial Pipeline and other industries like the beef industry. Over the past few weeks, drivers here in the Contra Valley have noticed a change in gas prices. They're high. I heard in uh, San Antonio they were 480 a gallon. It used to cost me uh, $20 to fill up, but now it's almost 30 I don't feel that the prices should be that high. It means I'm not going to be going very many places. I'm going to be staying at home an awful lot. <laughs> And prices aren't expected to go down anytime soon. Congressman Pfluger says America is in an environment of weakness. Uh, with the botched withdrawal from Afghanistan, uh, the assault on the oil and gas industry, as I said across from President Zelensky just weeks ago, we talked about energy security. He stated that he did not think that Russia would have the leverage to invade Ukraine if it weren't for the Nord Stream pipeline. That's why he's introduced his Midland over Moscow Act. I'm calling on President Biden to be strong. I'm calling on Nancy Pelosi to pass Midland over Moscow, which strengthens our domestic production and our ability to not only produce what we need here domestically, but also to offer that to our partners and allies like Ukraine so that they're not dependent on Russian energy. For your KSAN News, I'm Isabel Albritton.